Fed has insisted that the increase in inflation is transitory. That has given some investors some form of comfort. As a result, there's a, there hasn't been a li- rise in long-dated U.S. real treasury yields. In fact, these have even fallen slightly since the beginning of the year, reflecting expectations from investors that the Fed won't need to tighten the real stance on monetary policy very much to bring inflation back into target. Many speculate that this confidence will keep the gold price. Gold, as you know, has a history of performing very well during periods of high inflation. As economies have reopened across the globe, inflation has started to surge. We just experienced the highest inflation rate in more than a decade. Rising inflation is generally bad news for financial markets. In the case of equities, higher inflation might rise the value of earnings, but that effect is usually outweighed by investors discounting the value of future earnings at a higher rate. Investors assume that higher inflation will go hand in hand with the central bank tightening monetary policy. This should equate to the gold price surging up. However, there's gold haters, they're all out there, claiming that gold doesn't perform well in the short term. Take last year, for example, after gold hit an all-time high, it dropped to $1,800, and it has been hovering in the vicinity for several months. They're saying that it's because gold price increase depends on whether short bouts of high or and or rising inflation have any impact on long-term expectations for inflation and interest rates. Here's my two cents. Gold has always been a hedge. It's been, it's been around for the long run. It goes up during economic turmoil and stable. it's stable during other times. And this is proving true right now. The inflation fear has brought gold back into the spotlight this fall as prices climb back above $1,800 an ounce and analysts are now targeting the $1,900 level. It doesn't make the leaps as some of these cryptos do, like Bitcoin. It doesn't give dividends the way some stocks do, but it doesn't crash as hard either. Gold is considered as an inflation hedge, as an asset you can hold in perpetuity with infinite duration. And theirs lies its strength. It's for the long haul. If you want to ensure that 10, 20, 30, 50 years down the road, the value of your wealth for you or your family doesn't go down with inflation, gold is for you. Five ounces of gold is almost $10,000 right now. That's five months of rent in a one bedroom apartment in LA. If you kept it in cash, or if you invest in assets that only return a yield of 5%, your $10,000 will pay two months of rent in 10 years. I mean, that's, that's inflation. If you keep it in gold, it will, stay, it will pay five months of rent 10 years from now. It will be as powerful in 10 years as it is now. Of course, talk to a financial advisor before investing in anything. Gold is not here to multiply your portfolio 10 times a year. Gold is here to freeze the value of your investment and keep your buying power. But there's more to know about gold, its historical performance, role it can play in your portfolio, potential industrial uses. You can get all that in our free gold guide, or you can download at our our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Or if you want to talk to a live person that loves gold and loves precious metals in a no-pressure environment, give us a call at 877-646-5347. If you're interested in investing in precious metals, and you want to talk to a no-hassle representative that has experience in physical metal, give us a call. Phone number is 877-646-5347. Our phone lines are always open, and we're happy to answer any of your questions.